hard team to beat. They are. Yesterday, though, they had quite a battle with the uh, USA at the beginning and Canada. Well, it was 28-21. And then, of course, they lost to South Africa, who were outstanding yesterday. And uh, South Africa against Fiji. That's going to be the next cup semi-final. This one is going to be New Zealand, Argentina. We'll play Australia or Kenya. And here's a chance here now. Bit of pace with Cordero. He's the 18-year-old, just come in. Can he control it? It's all where the ball bounces. There's oh. the follow-up. I think that's the try. Yeah, it's been given. No, not yet. Not. Oh, is it yeah. going to be decided? I think it was uh, Passman who followed up. I'll come back to you They're now. confident. Rasta. I think Passman gets it here. Now, referee. There's Cordero. Oh, yeah. oh, it's not. It's actually... Uh, yes, it was. Yes. Anything from your side? I think 11 black. Yeah, it was... Uh, you mean it was Passman, was it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's Moroni who's come on as a replacement. 11 at the last blue. minute before... Uh, yeah, it is. It's, it's Matthias Moroni. Just the penalty. But not given. Penalty to oh. New Zealand. He sees it. He said that um, going for the ball, New Zealand player was obstructed. My goodness me. Wow. I thought Maroney had got it. Yeah, he was just the last change on the lineup. Not just Maroney. That was a close one there. Let's have a look. Um, here we points. can see the battle for the ball. Gee, this looks a little bit like. So who's done what there? Yeah, it's just a ding-dong battle for the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bit cruel. In the hands now of Gaston Rival. Oh, he's done well. And fast now. He could have the passes. Right, Kambula to beat. Well, I think he should have stayed out wide, but he had the pace to get by Right Kambula. I'd have thought there. Certainly starting with the well, Greyhounds out of the trap, aren't they? Here they come now with Facundo Garrido. Garrido inside the 22. All the ball in the Puma's hands. Here's the new guy again. Moroni. Cordero, 18. Oh, he's kicked it too far. Difficult. Hassle there by Tim Mickelson. Sorry? Touch and go. What do you want? 22? 22, scrum? Scrum or 22, that's the call. Okay, let's go, scrum. It was kicked dead in goal, so yeah. New Zealand get the option to elect the scrum or back to the 22. They take the scrum. Under a little bit of pressure here. Argentina Absolutely. out of the box. Absolutely. Hard and fast at New Zealand as you want them to be. And they're a little bit, a little bit rattled. Catch. New Zealand. We'll see how they Six. respond here. To Masitama. Amrai Kambula to Mickelson. And the pressure there, really uh, out of the trap, certainly Argentina this time. Good yopu tackle. Yopu. Well, I think coach Andres Romagnoli has got them uh, in the right frame of mind. Oh. Pressure here on Lamert, behind his line, he's going to concede, surely a five-metre scrum. Yes. Five-metre scrum, five-metre scrum. Well, wow. the pressure's on. My goodness, this is another look, isn't it, from Argentina. Haven't seen them quite so uh, inspired as they have at the moment. They really are going for it. I'm sure they sent uh, Here's a rare chance of beating New Zealand. But they haven't scored yet. No. Think about the short side here, if they can get a little skirt down there. Yeah. He's tried for it, but that was a good follow-up there by Tomasa Sama. Cordero. Well done. Oof. You're too late. No, you had it. You did have it. You did have it. Brizzoni, the captain. Moroni. In the hands now of Morello. Morello. Oh, gets to Mickelson. Now danger time. Mickelson so difficult to hold. Those long legs coming away now is William Spears. William Spears chased by Cordero. First time New Zealand have it. They get the first score. Yes, Cordero. Had an opportunity probably to close that space and make Spears take 
or at least make Spears do something with the ball. Here it is, that little intercept. Critical. Yeah. Absolutely, from Morello. Gave it away. And here's Spears, and Cuffer's coming across. Never ever made him make a decision. Just let him run to the, yeah, to the corner flag. He's pretty quick, isn't he, Rod? Yeah, but I felt Cadero could have closed the space and at least gone for the tackle. Then you've got to make a pass. Sometimes that pass can go to ground. Anyway, the try scored. Well, it took uh, six minutes for one to be scored by either team. It was New Zealand against the uh, possession. Really dominated Argentina in the New Zealand half. But that's typical New Zealand, you know. How often do they score? A try just before the half time. Yeah. Extraordinary, so. Well, they, they held him, they defended well. They did. I still think Argentina are a bit unlucky at that decision early on when yeah. I thought Moroni had really scored that one. Don't think there was obstruction. Agreed. Morello in the hands of Garrido. A bit offside there, I thought, Lamert. Gaston Reval. There's a seven-minute uh, hooter. Delido again. No! He's offside. Side entry. Side entry. Friendly. Rizzoni. Now it's over. Possible overlap here. Oh, not the best part of his kind. It's gone into the hands of Cadero. Cadero against Slama. Cadero. Should he not have stayed on the outside? He's got the pace and there's still a, still a chance here. New Zealand scrapping in defence and oh. keeping them out. Just need to pass to the right or oh, it's slowed down. Don't be slow. Oh, Cadero again. He's got oh, it. He's got it. He deserved it. <laughs> they, made it they made it more difficult than it might have been. Well, they're scrappers, though, Argentina, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. The Terriers, aren't they? Oh, they they're are. in your face. Really good. Nice little, nice little play here. <laughs> I think he might have been a penalty try if he hadn't got one. Yeah. Because he did actually get obstructed, didn't he, by uh, Tathama here. I think he does grab him. Look, there you go. Yeah. Anyway, the 18-year-old gets his third try in this tournament. Player who's... Uh, come out of the Argentinian under 20s this season and it's a, it's a great contest it's five all at the moment this for the lead is good so half time terrific first seven minutes and Argentina for once are leading at the break against New Zealand seven points and five and it's seven minutes to play for a place for Argentina to get into a cup semi-final was it Dubai 2011 that was the last time they made that taken by Yopu Yopu away by Mickelson into the hands of Lottie Raikambula the man who started out as a sevens player see, playing in the park in a sort of pick-up game and just happened to be seen by Gordon Titchens and now he's in his 51st sevens tournament there's one of the new boys, Lamet. Parts it on. Here's an old experienced man. In... He's so difficult, isn't he? He's so mm. long, lanky. And how many times does he pirouette through attempted tackles? Lottie Raikambula again. So many uh, big names from Sevens not available. So many missing. But they're still useful, aren't they? And here's Mickelson again. Wide out here to William Spears couldn't pass it the man was in front of him controlled himself well there Thama throws it away doesn't matter it goes loose but what a penalty yes entry at the breakdown and maybe grabbing the halfback as well to Marcy Thama a hand put on him as he referees have to have eyes in all parts of their head oh, run right away quickly by DJ Forbes could be a run forward. in here for Lamert uh, no it pass. went forward it went forward well, just saying, referees have got to see everything, and Massive uh, Engi is really good at this. He's called it. Obviously, that's a forward pass, but Argentina weren't back the 10 from the penalty, so comes back to the field where the point where they were original, offside. Original. Yes, should be the original point, I would have thought, but take it from the middle of the field, probably suits the All Blacks. 
Born in Fiji, Lati Raikambula. Same with this guy, Thama, player of the season last year. With Mickelson again, DJ Forbes, he likes scoring, he's not got another. 104th. So he's actually scored two tries in every tournament on average. Over a half century tournaments, this man here. Yeah, that's why I played advantage of the bit. Yeah. Okay. A nice finish there from DJ. The beard's off today. Yesterday yeah. he had the big full. That's why, that's why he knew he had to sort of get a bit more pace. He took off the beard and thought, I'm going, I've got to score now. I'm quick. I don't think there's anyone in the world who can grow a beard as quick as him. There's only about four weeks between the tournament. Each time he turns up with a massive beard. Yeah, maybe they're stuck on. Could be. Next time I see him, I'll <laughs> give it a tug. <laughs> see if it comes off. Nine. Well, what a game. 12-7, New Zealand take the lead. Time back on. Replacement for Argentina, Hannibal Garrido. Well, if he's anything like Hannibal, he'll, he'll be in the battle. Newcomer, 23-year-old from Córdoba, up country in Argentina. Justin Naval. Lucas de Vicenzi. It was a tackle, then you came from the side. Yes, but you side. came from the side. You bit the right beat. Tension out there now. Zealand, who made the final here last year. Losing out in a terrific final against Fiji. Well, Argentina. Yeah, the ruck beat him and he came straight from the last side. Last one, a title. Only been cup titles twice for them. San Diego, 2009. And this would be a tremendous step up for Andres Romagnoli, the new coach, to get into the semi. Good take. That was by the new man who just come on, Annabel Garrido. Oh Ooh. dear, oh dear! Vital moment. Little, little knock on from Brazzoni. There was real attack there. Well, he was moving to Brazzoni. There was a great little chance on the edge of the line there. He really caught, got the jump on New Zealand off that line out. Time back on. Critical. Seven seasons he's played. He'll rue perhaps that very moment if they lose this cup quarter final. Pressure on. Line offside. offside, yeah. Line too offside. soon. Mickelson eats up the ground. Manages to offload it to Sama. A little magician, isn't he? Got wonderful focus. Wonderful nous of sevens. Mickelson again. Too good. To Atungaloa. Coming on now, it's Rakimbula. Yeah, it's good, no hands. Don't use Gordon your hands. Kitchen's experience for the newcomers. Hey, you kicked it from the side. Number five. We're down to a minute and a half to go, and only one score between them. But New Zealand have that five point advantage. I won't hurry. Tomasi Thama. He's going to waste about 30 seconds by putting it into touch, ticking down the clock. What a player, 31-year-old, started out seven years ago in Singapore. And of course, learnt it all, well, got all the genes from his dad, who was one of the stars of the Fijian Sevens in Hong Kong. Born in Suva. Five years. Last year's player of the season of the IRB. Oh, it's over the top and a chance. Nice flip off to De Vicenzi. What's oh, wrong? Oh, dear, little knock on. Oh, no. They've just crawled themselves in the last minute and a half. Oh,